So what's up with the Knicks? What's up with the Knicks? Now that's a very interesting question that deserves a just as much interesting answer. The Knicks is on a roll. That's what's up with the Knicks. They're four in a row. They beat the Charlotte Bobcats last night. The score was 110 to 107. They was very impressive for at least 75% of the game. I have to say 75% of the game because for three quarters, the Knicks outplayed the Bobcats. They out-hustled them. They outscored them. And we can even say that the Bobcats was out-coached. That's right. We can tip our hat to Mike D'Antoni for a coaching job well done last night. But then after them three quarters of out-hustling, out-playing, all of a sudden, bam, there we go again. The Knicks with their fourth quarter meltdown. This must be a way of life for the Knicks. They like doing this to the fan. I mean, they had it at 16 points, and it went all the way down to one point. They had a one-point lead. Then it went back to three points, back down to one point, back to three points, back down to one point. I mean, the Knicks just like to get their fans hot. To sputter. They really do. But then in the end, thank goodness, they was able to come up with a victory. They came out with a win. At the Garden, of all places, come on, we have to protect the home court. I say this time and time again. Protect the home court. And they did a good job with that last night. Tony Douglas, Tony D, he was the man last night with 22 points. He had two steals. But he was the man. He also had help, though, because there were six players in double digits. I mean, Felton had 16 points and nine assists. And Stalamar had 17 points, seven rebounds, and three blocks. In the last five games, he had, like, 26 points and um, nine rebounds. We're talking about Amari Stalamar in his last five games. That's why he made... Player of the week. That's why right. Stoudemire play, made player of the week for last week. But, once again, the Charlotte Bobcats almost had a chance in the very end. They down three points, 110-107. The ball's inbounded to Steven Jackson after they discombobulated a little bit. And he ended up shooting up a brick. It just said, bang, bang, bing, bing, bang, bang, boom, boom, all over the backboard. Thank goodness for the Knicks, because we was able to pull away with that one. Yes, we did. But the Knicks was very impressive, I have to say, that they starting to learn how to finish games. And that's what's needed. And to win at the Garden. But stop the press. Stop your breaks. What's up? With Ronnie Terriak. What the bleep is wrong with him? He's going to inadvertently hit one of the opponents on the Charlotte Bobcats with his elbow, knock the opponent to the floor, and while the play is going on, the Knicks is breaking down a fast break down to their basket. Ronnie Terriak is holding the, hole, the ball in one hand and extending his hand to the opponent that's on the floor. Then suddenly... He gets this split realization that, oh, wow, the game is going on. And hands the ball to Felton, Sugar Ray Felton. And he made up for it because he ended up going down the court and ended up getting the ball and scoring. But beside that, you don't do that, Ronnie Terry App. You should get an Oakley pimp smack for that. <laughs> Oakley, you're going to have to call Ronnie Terry App. Other than that, he played a very good game, a very solid game. His defense, his defense, defensive presence was definitely felt. He got rebound, he blocked shots, he was on the floor, he got floor burned, he hustled. He did his thing. He did his thing. And they play again tonight, but this time in Charlotte. Now it's going to be harder for them to win because, of course, Charlotte's going to play them with a chip on their shoulder, knowing that this is the team that just beat them the night before. So they, that means that the Knicks are going to have to play extremely hard. They're going to have to play hustle harder. They're going to have to rebound harder. They're going to have to do everything harder. Instead of 100%, it's going to have to be 120% from the Knicks. 
By the way, Stoudemire is 26 points and 9 rebounds for his last 5 games. And that's why he made Player of the Week. And I also want to, before we close, once again, say thank you to the viewers. Thank you to my fans that ride the Long Island Bound N6. Yes, this is a picture of Patrick Ewing in the center, John Starks, and Charles Oakley. They're wearing their All-Star uniforms. All three of them made the All-Star game that, that year, in the 80s. This is, one of the, this is the three of the bomb squad. Johnny Newman is missing and Rod Strickland from the old bomb squad. Bomb squad. You old Knickerbocker fans know exactly what I'm talking about. But this is very appreciative and I'm going to always remember it. I'm going to hang it up with the rest of the memorabilia. And with that, I like to say peace, love, and basketball. You've been listening to Mike on the Mic. New York Nick post-game comments from a fan's perspective.